All right. <laughs> it is now the time for... Well, I guess I don't have to decide. I don't have to think about what color reservation vlogs logo I need to use. It's probably going to be the white one, right? Because it is nighttime. It is 2.24 a.m. I am in Delray Beach, and I'm fucking lucky I'm in Delray Beach. Um, I guess the sporadic vlog that I've been filming isn't out yet, clearly. But uh, today was Thursday, so that means today is technically Friday morning. Uh, as you know, I do the private rides on Thursday, and I ended up in Boca. I stayed up here. I charged up here at the cheap, cheap charger. It was 14 cents. Charged up to like 95. And let's see. Let's let's truncate this. Well, I guess we don't because it's the beginning of the vlog. Um, I ended up taking a ride that took me north of Boca and I saw a surge at the Palm Beach airport I was just like fuck it I got a ride from there it's a shitty little green ride the lady took me five bucks whatever then I started getting nightclub strip club orders I took a guy from his home at a strip club called Aura I never heard of Live close by, did that. Then I just, then I got one, remember Monroe's? I don't know what vlog it was when I did Palm Beach. Yeah, the Palm Beach vlog, where I drove by, the first time I did the Palm Beach airport and I drove by a place called Monroe's Elite Gentlemen's Club or something. Well, I got a ride from there and it was weird because it didn't say how much. As a matter of fact, I don't even know how much it was. It was 1885 okay but I was I took it because it's like fuck it Monroe's it's a strip club who cares maybe it's a stripper maybe it's a guy they're all guys that are from Boca Del Rey who go to strip clubs old dudes so I gotta tap into that market if I'm up here uh, it's better than doing airport rides so 18 bucks and 85 cents he has a tip yet and he was going to Del Rey so it was a, a ways north I mean, south. So I'm like, great. And then all of a sudden, before dropping off this guy from that Moreau strip club, I get a reservation. Now, what does my reservation look like today? Well, let's take a look at it. It's a shitty Uber Green, but it's from Delray to Miami International Airport. And it's at 3.30, so it's 2.30. 27 now so I can wait I mean uh, at least I'm gonna get paid to drive back down to Miami and relatively soon you know 3.30 is in an hour so we start our reservation vlog we're still logged in to everything because we're still active and doing rides but you know it's late it's a Thursday I'm up here in Delray uh, just trying to get back home man see this is a strange kind of vlog reservation if this reservation would have landed on my hands and I was anywhere near Miami or by my house, I would have never accepted it. But since I'm already up here stuck, you know, I can I can afford to wait for it. So, so let's uh, see what's going on. All right, the reservation is a little north of here. Uh, Man, I haven't eaten anything since that. Well, you, <laughs> you don't know yet, but future Mario, <laughs> future sporadic vlog Mario, ended up at a Publix in the afternoon before his uh, private ride. And in that Publix, he ate a rather good chicken tender and bacon sandwich that was rather cheap, four forty nine, I believe. Today? No, thank you. Can I have it to order? Let me have a Big Mac meal. Medium or large? Let's do medium with a Dr. Pepper. 
Anything else for you? Let's get six nuggets. Just the nuggets. And what's for your sauce? Uh, kind of sauce? Let's get sweet and sour. Sweet and sour? Anything else? Nope. All right, you can plug it on to the first window. No problem. Wow. Streets are dead. I'm lucky McDo this McDonald's is even open. How much? Big Mac meal, right? Yeah, yeah, with the nuggets. Yeah, Here you go. Top. Got top. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it, man. You see how you see how it sucks to go on a drive through with this goddamn Tesla with that proximity sensor bullshit. All right, let's find a place to eat this. All right, I've put in the GPS the street of, you know, I wish we didn't have to do this, but all right. I put the street where my reservation is. It's 10 minutes away from here. So I'm just gonna find a little parking spot here in an empty strip mall. Eat my McDonald's in peace. Maybe I should set my rider rating up so I don't get interrupted with a... Here's a little tr trick for you guys. If you guys don't wanna log off, but you want you don't wanna get a ride, set your rider rating up here. Set it to 4.9. Almost nobody has 4.9 stars as an Uber rider. Now, I'm not going to say nobody has, because definitely I've picked up some Uber clients that have five stars. Usually people who just started using Uber have five stars. But for the most part, 4.9 is kind of hard to have. 4.9 or higher. So it filters the amount of offers they can send you. You know, just by, by the, you know, by the fact that nobody has a high rating like that. Everybody's coming to the car with a bad attitude, coming to the car with fucking stinky smells, uh, bitching about directions. Why didn't you go that way? You know, to be honest with you, man, I, I need to start rating customers. I had a customer the other day that. I was gonna rate one star because I'm like, you know what? He's not that bad, but I want other Uber. We, we have to rate these customers so that for the future reference, other drivers say, hey, you know what? This guy's a problem. This guy's been a problem. Let me, maybe I shouldn't take this ride from the airport. I saw a screen grab. We share it at the group chat all the time. Well, it goes, look at this guy's rating. And we factor that in as part of whether we're willing to accept an offer or not. So suppose it's a $10 ride coming from the airport. I'm like, uh, not a great offer, but maybe if, you know, everything else being equal, you'll do it because there's nothing else. But if his rating is 4.52, I'm like, bro. I'm gonna do a $10 ride from the airport and have a shitty fucking customer that's liable to give me a problem or, you know, just... So, the rider rating filter. It's in the uh, it's in the screen with all the categories. You know, not everybody can see them. I think you have to be at least gold or something to, to see it. So I have it active, 4.9 and above. And now, we have our late dinner. <laughs> We have dinner at 2.40 a.m. But hey, with this reservation, it's at 3.30, so it it's gonna count for today. The 150 of my private ride, and this is gonna break me into, I'm gonna make like, I'm gonna be at like 160, 165. So all in all, I made my goal th for Thursday, which is try to make at least 150 on the app, plus the the 150 for the private ride. 
you can't beat a three hundred dollar Thursday. And if we can consistently have three hundred dollar Thursdays, I say that's all right. As a matter of fact, my goal for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is to make at least three hundred those days. That would be awesome. So you think about it, those four days out of the week is already at 1,200. So all you have to do is have a good Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to break the 1,500, 1,600, 1,700. And as I stated in the vlog I just filmed, or the clip of the vlog I just filmed, our Basel weekend's coming, and I, I think that's going to be a $2,000 week, you know. All right, well, I'm gonna eat. All right, I finished my McDonald's and I'm pulling out of this parking lot. I turned off the rider rating and I got an X ride here, uh, going in the direction, sort of, um, of my, well, I still got plenty of time. I got an hour until my reservation. But I got an X-Ride, you see? That X-Ride would have landed while I was halfway, any X-Ride would have landed while I was halfway th through my meal. So I didn't have to log off and I filtered my requests. All right, we're picking up this X-Ride. It's a girl name, so it's a woman's name. So I'm less, you know, at this time, you know, there are bad areas of Boca and West Palm, too, you know, at this time. You don't know who you're picking up, especially on a fucking Thursday or whatever. Friday morning. You know, this is probably just some college girl. Th today was college night, so who knows. Uh, there might be some bars closing and people needing to ride back to FAU or their dorms or whatever. So we'll see. Let's see what this is. It... This is the fun of doing rides at 3 in the morning, is uh, you never know what you can expect. You know? Alright, well, exactly, <laughs> exactly what I thought. <laughs> Boy, I called that shit. I was like, probably some college girls. Although I was expecting one person, but it was a girl, two girls and a guy. Uh, and it was FAU. It's funny. They're a little toasty. But they're fine. They're a little bit more... FAU girls are a little bit more, like, down to earth than UM chicks. UM chicks are kind of, like, a little... A little prissy. A little more prissy, like... Uh, Taylor Swift played, and she's like, Excuse me, can you turn it up? And, uh, no, they were fine. They were fine. Fine young children. <laughs> it's funny, man. Was I, was I that young? <laughs> Ever? I feel like when I was in college, when I was these kids' age, I was a little, a little bit more mature than them. Or maybe I wasn't. I don't know. FAU. Yeah, so the FAU chick is a little more down to earth, a little more humble. A little bit more respectful, really. Not that UM girls, UM girls aren't disrespectful, but you know, they these FAU chicks are a little bit more engaging with you. They and they kind of treat you like on the same level. UM people are they're like they know they're better than you. <laughs> Their dad can buy you. Uh, well, whatever. So FAU, you know, I used to date a girl from FAU. Who was it, like a teacher's assistant? She was a nice girl. It was when I started stand up comedy. Uh, yeah, she was nice. Uh, it was like very short lived, but yeah, she was a nice girl. <sighs> All right. And now, I don't know if this is my reservation. I think it is, yeah. It asked me to start heading in the direction. So, um, heading, it's a guy's name. And we're going to do our reservation and drive all the way to the Miami International Airport. Kind of a long drive from here, but hey, we're getting paid. $42. It's almost a premier reservation if you think about it, but it's a green. So imagine what this would be if it was a premier reservation. 
Be like fucking 75 bucks, 90 bucks, something like that. All right, let's pick this guy up and chill out, chill the hell out. It's been a long day, which started in the afternoon when I drove up here and did some early afternoon rides. All right, 95 North. I don't think this cop would like to see me filming myself. Okay, that's not a cop. All right, let me turn the air down a little bit. Um, I'm here at the uh, place where I'm supposed to pick up the reservation. It's weird. It's called Elevate Sports. E L E V the numeral eight sports and it looks like a little ghetto apartment but upon further inspection the cars parked out front here are like BMWs BMWs and uh Three of them have Jersey plates. One of them has a New York plate. What is this place? Huh. I see a light coming on and on over there in the corner. I guess I should. It's um, it's it's a three thirty reservation. It's two twenty three. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say I arrived. Is this like where sports people stay? Like maybe professional, I don't know, where do professional athlete, athletes stay? Elevate sports. Let me look this up on Google. Oh, it's Baseball Academy. Hmm. Baseball Academy. There it is. Yep, that's the logo. Maybe it's like a little league coach or something. All right, well, there you go. This is where I am. It's weird that the plates are from New York and New Jersey, though. It's like they, they drive down here. Are they like farm leagues? I don't know. Okay, there we go. Two dudes, okay. They're hugging each other. All right, one dude is leaving. All right. All right, I'll see you in Miami International. Welcome to Iro, Mexico. Conveniently located at door 22 of Miami International Airport. Good kid. Pitcher. Says uh, that was a this is a pretty prestigious baseball academy. Several guys have signed uh, major league contracts out of there. He's a pitcher. Um, you know, nice guy. Going to Mexico City. Said he was there for four months. Training. All ages. So, that's that's nice to know. I did not know that. I mean, I, I know West Palm does a lot of the spring training thing, so it makes sense. All right. We are at the airport. Will we get a premier reservation? Nope. Man, every time you drive by Fort Lauderdale Airport, it sends you that fucking rules and regs email, even if you're not pulling in. All right, at the airport, we are going home, man. It's been a long fucking day. And who knows, man, I could have had a future Cy Young Award winner back there. Maybe, maybe one day I'll go to a Marlins game and I'll remember his name. Um, overall, not a bad night. I just wish I didn't have to fucking cry. Man, it started to hit me. I got here pretty fast. Like, just like, said it was 50 minutes. It took me probably about 45. Um, I-95, such a shit show. Man. Even at 3.30 in the morning, there's people trying to fucking pass you and shit. Anyways, alright, we are 
Fuck. I'm gonna sign off. I like this reservation not ending up with the sun coming up, man. Now I can go home, get a good night's rest. Actually, I'm not going home just yet. I've navigated to Bird Road uh, Supercharger, which is at 33 cents. 30 cents? I don't know. Anyways, because I'm at 11%. Waking up tomorrow at 11% is no bueno. So we gotta bite the bullet, even though we wanna go home. We gotta leave this shit charging, bro. We gotta leave this thing with at least 95%, 90, 95. Tomorrow, if I wake up on time, I plan on doing South Beach, Brickell in the afternoon. Once we get to that high traffic area, I'm gonna do the two hour filter in Miami Beach like I did the other day. Actually, is that the beginning? Oh, no, this is not sporadic. This is a reservation. I don't know what the fuck I'm filming. All right, anyways, I think I'm gonna sign off. <sighs> Actually, I'll sign off at the charger. <sighs> We are here. Plugged in. Oh, I needed to stretch. All right. We're gonna charge for tomorrow. Actually, we're gonna charge for today. The noise the charger makes, kind of scary, huh? It's like. All right, guys, if you like these vlogs, give me a like. Leave a comment. Or subscribe with a B, B, B. I feel like it's the second time I've said that today. So you're getting more content. <sighs> or, if you think I'm sus, then subscribe.